As an artist who grew up in the slum, I always feel I have a, um, a burden of trying to show the positive side of slum life. My interest with art started way back when I was in primary school. Uh, we used to have a very good art teacher who used to encourage uh, us to do art. I started uh, way back in 2010, teaching children from Kuru slums. Then the estates around South B picked up and also are bringing in their kids to learn. We have a few students also who pay their high school fees through selling their work. And uh, mainly, you know, when you work with kids, when you sell their work, it's quite uh, challenging if you give them the whole bulk of money. So what we do is uh, we try to uh, make them uh, realize that they should save some of the money. They should also support their families. We also do exhibitions after every three months here at our studio space so as to give the students and other upcoming artists around Nairobi an opportunity to showcase their talent. Space is one of the challenges, but I, I believe if we get uh, the classroom, that would, would help us like, have a bigger space to, to work. And the second challenge would be uh, marketing. Uh, you know, in most cases, our art scene here in Kenya favors the well-established artists. The young upcoming artists, it's quite difficult for them to sell their work. I joined Masaba studio around four months ago. He discovered that I had like a portrait art talent and he guided me through it. He encouraged me to follow the path and it, it bore fruits and I'm really good right now than how I was like the day I joined here. I started art um, 10 years ago with Adam Masava. I come from a very poor family. When I sell my pieces, I can bring um, some money to buy food, to pay rent, paying my school fees and to do a lot of stuff um, like helping my brothers in terms of school fees and other things. An art center for us in the next 10 years would, would be a dream come true for us. 